the AirSight IP cameras are the perfect way to monitor your home from the convenience of a mobile device. Want to know who is at your door? How about checking in from your vacation to see if everything is okay? With motion detection and night vision capabilities, you can have a monitored house without the monitoring fees. This video will show you how easy it is to set up your AirSight cameras to a mobile device. The first step is to locate the Wi-Fi antenna and attach it to your camera. Next, connect the included Ethernet cable to the camera and connect the other end to one of the Ethernet ports of your router. This is a 2.4 GHz router and the AirSight cameras can only work in this network. Modern routers have dual band support that have a 5 GHz and a 2.4 GHz network. If you have a dual band router you will need to reference your router's manual in order to change or add networks. Once the network has been confirmed, plug the power supply to the camera and the other end to a working wall outlet. Once the camera powers up, if your model has pan and tilt capabilities, it will perform a motor check and will pan and tilt on its own. Wait until the camera finishes to continue the setup. In the meantime, ensure that the mobile device the camera will be set up to is on the same Wi-Fi network from the router that you connect the cameras to. If you haven't downloaded the AirSight app, you can do so now. You can find the free download on the App Store for Apple devices or the Play Store for Android devices. Once the app is installed in your device, go ahead and tap the icon to open it. Once open, tap the icon at the bottom that says Add Camera. Wait a couple of seconds for the list to populate. If you don't see your camera on the list, ensure that the Ethernet cord and the power cord are properly secured. Tap on the UID of the camera and then tap Add. A window will appear. Just enter the default password, which is six zeros. If you have multiple cameras, follow the same steps. Once all the cameras have been added, tap on the camera tab at the bottom left and you should see the cameras that you added listed. Tap on each camera to monitor the live view. Once you see an image, the camera will be ready to switch to its wireless interface. First, ensure that you can see an image when monitoring the live view. Go back and tap on the arrow pointing right at the far end of the camera's icon. Then tap Advanced Settings and after that on Wi-Fi Settings. Here, wait until the app finishes locating the surrounding Wi-Fi networks. When it finishes, the icon should display none. Tap the SSID icon and find the router's network the camera is connected to. A window will appear and you will enter the Wi-Fi network's password. Once completed, tap OK and then save at the top right corner of the app. Tap the back button until you're back in the camera list. Disconnect the power supply first and then the network cable. For testing purposes, we recommend testing the camera next to the router first to ensure that the Wi-Fi settings were entered correctly. Reconnect the power supply and wait for the camera to do a motor check. Once the camera starts doing the motor check, it should be connected to the Wi-Fi network. Turn on your device and tap the camera and... Uh-oh. Why is there no image? Did I break the camera? Is it defective? Don't worry, the app needs to be reopened.